the ultimate fight that I ever had was still living with terminal cancer. Sorry, temporary to totally gone cancer. Yeah, nine years on. My name is Dave Bolton and I am the founder and lead trustee of Ahead of the Game Foundation. The foundation was born out of my own real lived experience. In 2014, I was diagnosed with an astrocytoma, a brain tumour the size of a tennis ball in the front hemisphere of my brain. That led with a five-year diagnosis. Following a craniotomy and removal, I was up speaking within three hours and I was discharged within three days. A year later, I went in for a random scan and unfortunately, on the midline of my brain, there was the world's deadliest tumour, the biggest killer of all cancers. I was given a three-month uh, diagnosis with that. But I went home. I was sat on the couch and I was waiting to die. But I thought, if six months is the average, then there must be people to go before, but there must be people who get to 18 months, which is usually the longest anyone will live. So I put myself in a fight. I named it Terry, he was my opponent, and I put a camp around it. So I got my mindfulness right, my diet, alternative therapies, supplementation, physical exercise, meditation, tackling it 360. The scans kept getting better, it kept shrinking. And after about five years, which would have put me in 5% of the world's population, I kind of wanted to see what I could do to help others because I thought there must be people in similar situations with no support. And I wanted to show that other people that there is another way. So I retrained as a cancer rehabilitation specialist, especially treatment related fatigue, which is devastating. So the aim's objectives for Head of the Game is to provide physical, mental and emotional rehabilitation through prescribed coached sessions, but also to support the families of the loved ones as well. When you come off that treadmill for cancer treatment and you're on your own and because I didn't have radiotherapy, etc., I didn't need to have physiotherapy. So I wasn't aware that I'd lost range of movement. A friend of mine who knew Dave suggested I got in touch with him. I didn't. Dave got in touch with me because at the time I just wasn't talking to people, mixing with people, just wanted to stay at home, do nothing. And then we've been on a journey together ever since. I think there is a massive need for what we do. One of our ambassadors, Anna Crofton, actually says that our foundation is bridging the gaps in rehabilitation. We don't just focus on the physical, it's the mental, it's the emotional. After being told that I had a terminal brain tumour, there was nothing more the surgeon can do. Uh, he mentioned about positivity and, he, and then he, he was just like, you know, speak to Dave Bolton. So when I researched Dave, I was just like, yeah, I think he's, he's got something here. And ever since I haven't looked back. It's a crazy thing to say that this terminal brain tumour has actually brought out the best in me, which was all key from meeting Dave. He must have a phone book full of people that are requesting his help all the time and he's always there. I don't know how he spreads himself around everybody. He's very driven and that drive, it, it gets through to you. The National Lottery have been instrumental, not only for when we were right at the beginning, that first initial sum of 10 grand, put the blueprints, put the foundations to see what we do today. But I would say one of the big things was being in a place where I could speak openly, honestly, without pity, without judgment to others in going through the same situation meant the world to me. It's really helped me with my mental health. So it's, it's projects like this that have been funded by the National Lottery have enabled us to improve the quality of the lives of those who, in our communities who are suffering the worst.